Yo, hello everyone. Are you concerned about spam and fraudulent activities on your WooCommerce store? In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of adding a reCAPTCHA to your WooCommerce setup, from generating and implementing the reCAPTCHA keys to configuring from the settings. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. Now, once you have officially opened your WordPress or WooCommerce store dashboard, make sure to head up to this plugin section right over here. Then, I will need you guys to click on Add New. And then, as always, there is two ways to actually add the plugin. First one, by clicking on Upload Plugin, and then choosing a file from your PC. You can find the reCAPTCHA for WooCommerce on for free on WordPress so plugin. Here we go, and here it is. So this is the one that we are going for. You can find it for free here. You can simply download it and get it. And of course, on the other hand, you can get the premium version for around $2.4 per month and $29 per year. You can get both things for free or paid. This one will include one year extension updates, the one year support and 30 day money back guaranteed. The other one will only the basic stuff of CAPTCHA. Now let's upload the file real quick. CAPTCHA WooCommerce is on now. Activate plugin and it will be activated. As you can see, we are done. So now, in case you'd like to make this CAPTCHA work, you can get your site key and secrets from here. So you'll have to go to here, google.com, recapture admin create. And here we need to add our web website. So um, let's add our website here real quick. In my case, I have a localhost, so I can't really add, but I will add anything like for now. So it's going to be somewhere around that. And here we go. Now, once you're done, here give this as a challenge. So score, by, score based or challenge so there is the version 3 and version 2 so verify requests with a score or verify request with a challenge so there is i'm not a robot checkbox validate request with i'm not a robot checkbox or invisible recapture badge so validate request in the background i'm going to go with i'm not a robot checkbox then click on submit here you have to add your specified domain so here we go and click on submit and now all we have to do is we're still setting up recapture enterprise settings in google cloud but you can get started using the key details below so here we go success you are all set up with the enterprise and now all we have to do is copy the site key so let's check here site key version 2 so here we go um, let's copy this key paste it here and here's secret key and let's paste it here and now once you're done Let's make sure that everything is clear and this is where you're gonna use it. So where exactly do you want to use this reCAPTCHA? In the WordPress login, WordPress register, reset password, or WooCommerce checkout, guest checkout only, WooCommerce login, WooCommerce register. It is completely up to you. For example, you can check all of these and shift changes. And now as you can see, the API key have been updated. Please test the reCAPTCHA API response below. So let's test it out. The localhost is not on the list of supported domains, so in my case, my localhost is not really in the supported domains. Since it is only a localhost, I don't really have an online WordPress uh, WooCommerce store. But in your case, guys, it will be working completely fine. You will no longer have problem with the recapture. On the other hand, where you can find it, simply if you want, for example, to your store. In my case, I don't really have any products. I can create ones really fast here. Go to product, add new. And I'm going to create really fast products like here. Here we go. And regular price 10 and 10. And here, I'm going to click on publish. So now I have this product. Now if I visit my store, so, so no post much to your criteria. So let me just find it real quick. I can actually find it through here. So uh, if I went here, preview changes, here we go. And here it is the product. So now if your actual website is eligible and the domain is the one that you have added in here, which is in the Google Captcha, 
over here so with the label in the domain section here you will be able to actually make it work and as i said before if you went to the settings once more so let's go to the settings so i can show you a real quick tip so recap for woocommerce they only accept site key version 2 so in case you had the domain name correctly the label correctly and for example you went for the score based version 3 this will not be working for you since they only accept challenge 2 that's why you have to go with recapture for woocommerce which is the paid uh, version which is the paid version of woocommerce and these are some examples on how it's going to look like on your website so this is how it looks like on the login and in the register and these are some of the benefits as you can see you will get support both recapture version 2 and recapture version 3 as i said protection from spam protection from unauthorized login attempts stop fake registrations stop fake guest orders and low friction effortless interaction for users and easy for customers hard for bots and enable it to required places only you can even choose where you want it to be not like it will randomly pop up to people and this is pretty insane some of the features these are all the ways where you can put it in your WordPress website so this is for the free version you only can put it in seven places in total but here there is around one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and the list goes up to 20 I guess or more of the different places where you can put the recap chain from the login, installation, lost password, guest checkout, login user checkout, app payment method checkout, uh, rec like every single thing that you think that you need to add that in, you will have it. Even though in auto detects user language, even in reset capture on order or post back, like literally even in Jetpack forms, which is like a plugin that comes with WordPress if you'd like to add it, they actually support it as well. Everything that you think of, there will be a specified label that you can choose where you'd like to add it in. So in general guys, having the recapture plugin on your WooCommerce website is really benefit to lower the uh, the bots that are coming to your website, spamming accounts and faking literally everything and making even your server run slower than usually do and you will have a bunch of data that is unnecessary fake account fake orders and literally fake stuff that you won't really be happy after receiving them that's why having the recapture either the free version or the premium version will be very benefit for your own safety for the store and the server of your website so guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you liked it. And if you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I will make sure to answer all of your questions. And thank you guys a lot for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.